In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at poop and how poop, through a healthcare perspective, can be very helpful in treating infections. To be specific, this video will tackle the topic of fecal microbiota transplants. In this video, we will outline the real scoop on poop, addressing the following. What is an FMT? The different methods by which FMTs can be performed, the risks involved with FMTs, and also additional resources will be provided. As mentioned, FMTs are used to treat imbalances in our microbiome. The human microbiome is composed of trillions of tiny microbes, which are mostly bacteria, that thrive inside our gut. The vast majority of these bacteria are not harmful, as many are essential to our health, keeping us strong, healthy, and resilient. When these bacteria become unbalanced, a person can develop diarrhea and other intestinal problems. For this reason, the microbiome is a hugely impactful part of human health. So what is a fecal transplant and how can it help the microbiome? A fecal transplant is when a doctor transplants feces from a healthy donor into another person to restore the balance of bacteria in the gut. The idea is to take the healthy bacteria that is normally found within the colon of a healthy person and to re-implant them into the colon of a sick person, thus reintroducing the bacteria. A fecal transplant from a healthy donor encourages the recipient's body to grow healthy bacteria which can then treat some infections and reduce the severity of certain gut health problems. Fecal transplantations are mainly performed as a treatment for recurrent C. difficile, or C. diff, which is a common bacterial stomach infection that causes diarrhea, abdominal cramping, and severe fever. Usually, a compilation of antibiotic therapy is used to help treat C. diff. However, in some cases, the antibiotics that treat infections in the gut also kill off helpful bacteria, allowing C. diff to take advantage and multiply in population size. About 20% of people who take antibiotics for C. diff develop the condition again. This recurrence may be due to the antibiotics disrupting the gut microbiome, in which case reintroducing good bacteria using a fecal transplant may be very helpful. In the United States alone, C. diff affects nearly half a million Americans each year of which 15,000 people die, often due to severe colon inflammation. In a study published in 2014, 70% of the participants had no symptoms after one fecal transplant treatment. The overall cure rate was 90% among those who underwent multiple FMTs. Doctors may also recommend fecal transplants to manage other gastrointestinal conditions, such as irritable bowel syndrome. Transplants could eventually treat a variety of conditions including neurological conditions, including Parkinson's disease and multiple sclerosis. These associations may exist because gut health affects the body's ability to absorb and use nutrients. It's important to also indicate those who are not eligible for an FMT, such as those patients who are immunosuppressed. That means those who don't have the ability to respond normally to an infection due to an impaired or weakened immune system. Transplant patients, such as those who receive bone marrow transplants, or those with certain bowel diseases, including ulcerative disease in the GI tract, where the bacteria could translocate from the gut to the bloodstream. Let's talk about where, or who, the sacred poop comes from, and the process of becoming a donor. The screening process is indeed very rigorous, as the chance of passing on a disease must be minimized. Therefore, the donor cannot be on any medication or have traveled overseas where they could have picked up a dangerous pathogen. A potential donor will need to be screened by their physician for infectious pathogens by undergoing the following tests. Hepatitis A, B, and C, HIV, HTLV, and syphilis. Their stool is then screened for parasites, and molecular diagnostic test is conducted to screen for C. difficile. Less than 5% of people pass the screening and become viable donors. In most cases, a doctor will deliver the donor feces to the sick patient through a colonoscopy. A colonoscopy is a small, flexible tube that they insert into the colon through the rectum. Another approach involves injecting liquid feces via an enema. Newer and more common method of an FMT is the use of an oral capsule, which contains a stool preparation. Compared to colonoscopy and an enema, 
An oral capsule is less invasive and can be taken in a medical office or even at home. Risk of FMTs may include the risk of aspiration if not delivered deep into upper small intestine, risk of acquiring infection from donors, which are very rare, the risk of complications from sedation and endoscopy. If the pain becomes serious and you do experience severe abdominal swelling and blood in your stool, contact your healthcare provider right away. The science supporting fecal transplants is becoming increasingly mainstream, and it's important to understand the benefits of accepting feces from a healthy donor. It may seem gross, but it definitely saves lives. Want more information? See the links attached within the description below.